Leg syndrome is annoying, it's frustrating, and for women, it could mean something far more serious. Here's health editor Dr. Maria Simber to explain a potentially dangerous connection. Carol Bame has symptoms of restless leg syndrome. I notice that I'd be laying in bed. Sometimes it just feels like you don't know what to do with your legs. It'll feel like something's crawling on it. Her mother died of congestive heart failure. She also had restless leg syndrome. Anytime she would lay down and try to get any rest, it was just so uncomfortable. She would have to get up and move around because they say you just don't know what to do with your legs when that hits you. Researchers at Penn State University have linked the condition to an increased risk of heart disease. Patients who did report symptoms of restless leg syndromes actually were found to have not only increased risk of cardiac disease, but from dying from cardiovascular disease. With restless leg syndrome, people have the irresistible urge to move, especially at rest or at night. Why it happens isn't known, but it's thought to be related to certain areas deep in the brain and the chemical signal dopamine. It affects up to 10% of the population, and it's treated with lifestyle changes and a wide variety of medicines. To look at the association with heart disease, the researchers looked at the information collected from the Nurses' Health Study. This included nearly 60,000 women and involved questionnaires every two years from 2002 to 2012. When the analysis took high blood pressure and obesity into account, the link between physician-diagnosed restless leg syndrome and cardiovascular-related death was even stronger, especially with three or more years of symptoms. Other explanations could be at play. For example, it could be interference with sleep itself. So before declaring restless leg syndrome a standalone risk factor for heart disease, this cardiologist wants more study and more consistent correlation. I think that's the very, a very likely explanation. I think any disorder that interferes with our normal sleep architecture has all sorts of uh, devastating effects on the body over time. Turns out, Carol fits the pattern. I do have heart disease. I had a heart attack three years ago. I'm Dr. Maria Sembra, KDKA TV News.